welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial i am going to make a toggle clamp assembly and this is part number one and also tutorial number one and the uh, the name of that that part is base this is the base part and uh, uh, actually what happen in this assembly if you move this handle and the piston will move uh, back and forth so this this is that 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 type of assembly so let's start the assembly and this is my tutorial number one so for this uh, take new page for the drawing select assembly model unit millimeters and okay F uh, this is the top view of uh, base this is front view and this is side view with the help of this i'm going to make uh, this tutorial uh, select a sketch select the base x y and ok now finish the sketch uh, select uh, uh, sketch and select x z plane ok now let me zoom the uh, dimension so that you can see it clearly this is the base part 1 mm 20 mm length and uh, 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 220 mm length sorry 120 mm width and uh, this is the top portion so in 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 first step i'm going to make uh, the rectangle in that shape and i will extrude it after that 220 mm so let's start okay first select this uh, rectangle select third rectangle from center rectangle select third one rectangle and ok now change the dimension the length uh, total width is 120 so you can change it by uh, activating it by double clicking over it 120 ok drag this 40 mm uh, into downward and it is half uh, dimension by double click it also and change it to 120 divide by 2 just half of it again close it and this is the uh, thickness so the thickness is 10 here in my dimension as you can see here at the left side so double click over it and and uh, assign 10 dimension and this is the half dimension so 8.5 i don't want it 8.5 so double click it edit it and uh, assign 5m dimension so that the rectangle can came at the center of the origin point uh, you can see in the base view there is uh, another rectangle another portion which is extruding upward about 5mm uh, thickness for this i am again going to take a rectangle a third rectangle center rectangle select the center point very carefully and draw a rectangle and you need to trim the excessive portion first but you can trim it by selecting trimming command in the middle below okay uh, uh, the uh, thickness of this rectangle portion is uh, 36 so drag this uh, dimension upward and double click to edit it as i told you earlier 36 enter and cancel okay not 23 36 close uh, the half dimension 36 divided by 2 36 divided by 2 close and uh, this height is about 5 mm in uh, uh, in extrude or oh, sorry 5 mm in length so for this again double click edit the dimension feet 5 close double click uh, left side dimension also 5 here close now my dimension is fully constrained and nothing is left the thing is left is you have to extrude it so for this i am finishing my sketch select extrude command as soon as you click on the extrude command it will show you a property box now it is asking to you the section now you have to select the section which you have made in the software so select the curve i am selecting the curve and uh, the vector should be infrared uh, the next thing is it is 220 mm in length so i am giving uh, 220 and a half is i think 120 select the value choose the symmetry value now it is 220 mm completely and cancel it you can hide the sketch if you want it is totally depend upon you, you if you want to get hide or not so and the next step is i i'm going to make i'm gonna make this part this uh, half circle part so let's see select the sketch choose this face for this sketch and press ok uh, 
uh, draw a circle here at the center of this portion and uh, this circle is 25 mm radius so i am assigning 50 mm diameter because here is my uh, default dimension is showing uh, diameter so by just double clicking it i am assigning 50 mm diameter because radius is 25 uh, take this center point and take this also double click over it and assign 0 mm dimension because it what what is the meaning of this dimension the meaning of this dimension is uh, made the circle take the circle uh, sorry bring the circle at the center of this y direction and another thing is okay the center of this circle from uh, that surface fr uh, is showing 13 and uh, i must say that uh, it is not a uh, uh, right dimension it is a wrong dimension or it you can say it is a misprint so for this i am assigning 20 mm dimension uh, 20 mm dimension and and half 5 because uh, dimension i am taking from this point and it it is coming at the center so i am taking half uh, from this 10 so 20 plus 5 it is going to be 25 cancel and if you are taking from there that dimension you can take and uh, so apply 20 uh, okay the next thing is uh, we have uh, uh, another thing there is a line of 95 degrees for this select profile and draw a line and uh, first select project geometry uh, okay I'm not selecting it uh, click over the circle and drop it there drop the line there and uh, select angular dimension for giving angular dimension so it is 95 degrees for this select this uh, tapered line and and this baseline and uh, assign 95 degrees and close it the next and the next step is select mirror command because i want to i want another line at the right side so for this you don't need to draw a line select mirror curve uh, this is the curve which i am uh, i want to mirror and this is the center line the center line is y and apply and okay uh, and the next thing is trim the excessive portion trim the excessive circle close now it is if it is showing you over constraint dimension so right click over the dimension and delete it and uh, select the profile and complete the profile by uh, matching these two points okay my sketch is fully constrained it is showing and the next thing is the extrusion value is let me check the what is the extrusion value extrusion value is 50 mm because it is 50 mm extrude at the back side for this uh, select uh, finish the sketch select extrude command uh, select this uh, profile make the direction reverse and feed 50 here uh, in the distance option and the boolean operation should be unite because i want that uh, the part should combine with this part and both these part become a single part by selecting unite uh, hide the sketch if you want to hide it okay there is a hole uh, in this profile throughout hole and the diameter of that hole is 28 diameter so for um, for this i am going to select this whole feature or you can make this hole by uh, drawing a circle and uh, doing extrude and uh, unite from that body so or so i'm save i'm trying to saving the step so that's why i'm selecting hole here now select a general hole a simple hole and now it is as asking to you a uh, position where you want to place your hole and the dimension is here uh, the diameter is 28 so apply 28 here and the depth limit should be until next because i want a throughout hole and uh, drag your object at the right portion and uh, assign the hole uh, you can select the center point by just bringing your uh, cursor at the edge of this circle it will show you the center point now grab the center point and click over it it is 28 mm boolean should be subtract apply and uh, cancel okay the next thing is uh, this is this tail like portion uh, uh, so for for uh, ma ma for making this tail like portion select this sketch again 
select this plane yz and apply because it is a middle plane and uh, draw a line here and circle so for this i am uh, drawing a radius 10 circle so radius 10 means uh, diameter 20 okay close it again take circle uh, the inner circle is small circle is 12 mm diameter so apply to 12 mm here okay close it so it's time to place a dimension uh, for this uh, you have to draw this vertical line first so select the, your circle and and uh, select that point okay select the line and apply this vertical constraint so that it can uh, align with with the side face uh, the next thing is select the line again and draw a tapered line and complete your geometry close now it is asking to you a degree so for this i am again selecting angular dimension select this tapered line and vertical line and place 30 mm dimension here okay the height the total height is 20 mm uh, as uh, as previous step we have take uh, we have taken 20 mm uh, it is misprint so it is also 20 mm in length uh, for this select uh, uh, linear dimension and select vertical option uh, it is asking to you select a vertical option this is my point and this is a line which i am selecting for assigning 20 mm length close it okay the next step is trim the this uh, this bigger circle for making geometry close and now you can see my sketch is fully constrained means position wise dimension wise my sketch is, uh, is is okay and select the finish command now let's see how much extrude it is going to be uh, now they are showing it is 12 mm extrude so for this select extrude command select your sketch and uh, assign 6 mm here and the value should be symmetrical value now it is 12 and the boolean operation unite because i want this third part should be uh, should should become a single body after joining this base plate right click and hide the sketch if you want now the the thing is uh, there is a fillet uh, uh, over this entire body but fillet is not given in the dimension so i am taking this fillet by myself I'm assuming it so you can also assuming it select uh, edge blend and fill one in the radius and now select edge carefully as I am selecting select all the edges carefully this edge this vertical edge this edge this edge this edge this and this select the entire sketch because the fillet is all over the body <coughs> select the entire edges okay this edge also this edge also and this edge also and this edge also uh, let me see all the edges are select whether all the edges are selected or not okay uh, in my opinion all the edges are selected and choose apply and cancel and you can apply by pressing your middle mouse scroll button so guys this is my base of the toggle clamp assembly and uh, now i'm going to assign some color for signing the color i told you in my earlier tutorials for this you can uh, select your body from uh, like this by placing a cursor over it or you can select it from your part navigator so i am selecting here part navigator right click it and now it is there is an option of assign feature color select the feature and specify the color guys it is totally up to you take the color which you want so for this i am selecting this green color i think okay and uh, select uh, extrude and edges 
right click and assign some feature color here again uh, let me see which color is matching with this green color uh, 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 okay let me select this light green color it is uh, the gu guys it is totally up to you which color you want to select okay so guys this is my tutorial over the base which is a part of toggle clamp assembly so guys i hope you like you are liking my tutorials and if you like please like and subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit subscribe button so that you don't miss any notification from us thank you